Hey guys, welcome to Ten Minute English with May, and today we're going to continue looking at that clause being used as subject. So these are our example sentences. Number one, that all students pay the same amount of tuition is important to the student advisory council. So right away you can see that hey why are there two verbs with no conjunction right students pay and then is so what this is is a that clause functioning as subject right and that is why we have to remember one fundamental rule a that clause like a gerund phrase when it is a subject. It is singular, okay. And if we take a look at the second example, well, this is actually not a that clause, but it is still a noun clause. So, if you remember in our overview lesson, we mentioned that clause, if or whether clause, and question noun clause. So, for two, three, and four, these are question noun clauses because they start with the wh word and sometimes the how. Okay, so what will intrigue her next is anybody's guess. So the whole noun clause, the subject, the verb will intrigue, but the entire noun clause is the subject. This thing is anybody's guess, and again, it is singular. Okay. And number three, what we were interested in seeing was the work of Anna Dickens. So the entire noun clause, what we were interested in seeing, is functioning as our subject, and that's why the verb was is singular. And as a quick review, we can see that hey. Who teaches at the nearby college? The who here is our relative pronoun functioning as subject, and this is modifying the antecedent Anna Dickens. So this is our adjective clause, and it is our non-essential. Adjective clause because it comes with. A comma, okay. And for number four, same thing. We see the what, the question word. What the newspaper reported was incorrect. So newspaper reported the subject verb of the noun clause, but the entire noun clause is functioning as subject. So the verb is singular. Was. So keep in mind that. If you have a compound noun clause as subject, it would be plural. Okay, so um, for example, that she looks beautiful, and that she is charismatic, are the best things that I like about her. I know that is vain, but as you can see here. I have compound noun clause as subject, right? And that is why my verb would be plural. Okay, and that is it for today. Bye bye.